Good, good. Okay, uh, we also have um, Oksana. How you doing, Oksana? Okay, how about Heidi? Hi there, Heidi. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Uh, we also have Heido. How you doing, Heido? Hi, Chef. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you for asking. And uh, also, Nader. How you doing, Nader? Hi, Chef. Hi, Chef. How are you? Hi there. I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, very nice. And let's try Oksana one more time. Hi there, Oksana. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, uh, you know, yes, okay. Hi, there we how go. are you? Hi there. Good to see you again. I'm too. Okay, very good. All right, so let's uh, let me get uh, some stories up here, you guys. I apologize. I was uh, uh, working working through the uh, last class. It was going really good. We were doing some uh, uh, some role plays. Okay, here we go. All right, so let me uh, let me get you the first story we're going to uh, read. It's right there in the chat box. Okay, and we are going to start off with uh, with Nader. Okay. Here we are, and um, uh, can you guys see see my screen? Or not yet? Is it still a picture of me? Yeah, okay. Yeah. We can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, coming. Can see. All right. Give me one second. There we go. Sorry, you guys. Hangouts is uh, just really dragging, dragging my system. It's going pretty slow. Okay, so uh, Nader, can you uh, can you see my screen here? Our story. Uh, it's never easy. It's never easy. Randy had a, a lot of yard work to do on the weekend. He hadn't had time last week, so that meant more this week. That was okay, he thought, because he just have to start early. If he got right, if he got right on it, he could be done in maybe an hour and a half. He started with the hedge clippers. The big pair of scissors helped him trim pushes and even out hedges. Okay, good, good. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Let's go to the word trim. Okay, uh, with our T R, make sure to use a C H R sound instead of trim. It's tr trim. Trim, trim. Hey, there you go. Okay, good. Uh, let's work on the R at the end of the word here. So this is clippers, clippers. Clippers, clippers, clippers. There you go. Very good. Much better. Okay, let's try this. He got, he got right on it. He got right on it. He got, he got right on it. He got right on it. Okay, very nice. Okay, and uh, let's see here, um, a lot of yard work, okay, a lot of yard work. So here with, with work, we're going to say an er sound instead of wor work, it's irk, okay, so a lot of yard work. Try that. A lot of yard work. Okay, very nice, very nice, thank you, good job. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's go to... <clears throat> Uh, let's see here, Heido. Yes. Okay, Heido, please, uh, please can these. Okay, uh, finish, uh, finish this paragraph and read down to here where it says uh, time to cut the grass, please. Okay. With this, he removed branch that took out funny, or we're too close to the, to the ground. It made it easier to cut the, the grass later if the branch weren't in the way. 
only the left hand broke while he was working. He had to put in new script and the and then tape tape up the and the and to finish. Then he cleared away the brush and extra trimmings from from the bushes. No, no, it was time to cut the grass. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to the word now instead of no. This word is now. Try that. Now, now. Okay, very good. Uh, next we have. <clears throat> uh, next we have the word handle. Handle. Try that. Handle. Handle. Good. Good. Much better. All right. Our next word here. Uh, let's see. This is uh, uh, cut. Okay. So right here, instead of cut with an oo sound, this is an uh. Cut to cut the grass. To cut the grass. Okay, very nice. Uh, next, we have the word ground instead of grund. Okay, this is an ow sound. Ground. So ground. Ground. Okay, very nice. Uh, next up, word too close. Now, with the T sound here, you want to make sure you're using an English T instead of a Spanish T. So this is the difference in the way that they sound. Word too close. So instead of tu, we want to say tu. Notice how the T's sound just a bit different. One is harder and one is softer. The English T is harder. It's a harder sound. So it's t tu instead of tu. All right? Word too close. Try that. Word too close. There you go. That's the T sound. Okay. And uh, the last one for you is these instead of uh, des, okay, with an e sound, it's a long e. With these, with these, with these. Good. All right. Nice job. <laughs> Thank you, chef. Thank you. No problem. Uh, okay. Next up is Heidi. Yeah. Okay, Heidi, please read from. She checked over. Uh, finish this uh, this paragraph. And read down to well then, please. He checked over the riding mower. He had to pump up three of the tires because they were a little low. Next, he refill, refilled the gas. Then it was time to start. But the engine wouldn't turn over. A little irritated, he checked everything out and even hand turned the cylinder a couple couple times to get the engine loosened up. Finally, it started. Things should have gone well then. Instead... Okay, the just till there. All right, mm -hmm. very nice, very good. Okay, let's practice right here. Okay, um, uh, let's see, let's try. Should have gone well. Now, in between gone and well, you added an extra sound. Gonna, gonna well. Okay, so let's remove that here. Yeah, so it's should have gone well then. I should have gone well then. Well there you go. Good, one more time. Should have gone well then. Should have gone well then. Okay, very good. Uh, next up is, uh, all right, uh, wouldn't. Okay, so uh, instead of wouldn't, it's w, wouldn't. wouldn't. Wouldn't turn over. Wouldn't turn over. There you go. Let's try turn instead of turn. It's tur, turn. Wouldn't turn over. There you go. Much better with the R sound. Okay. And one last one for you. Uh, this is a little low. Give me good L's here. A little, a little low. low. A little low. Good. Much better. All right. Nice job, Heidi. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Let's uh, continue here. Um, Daniel? Yep. Please read from uh, instead down to the grass was cut, please. Okay, instead the mover deck was making noises. He stopped, checked it out, and decided a belt was loose. He got wrenches and tightened, tightened the belts to see if that would help. Uh, he started moving again, 
and it was still not sounding right. Just when he was about to get off and check more bolts and tension springs, it started uh, sounding better. An hour later, the grass was cut. Okay, very good. All right, let's check out a few parts here. First up, we have it started. Okay, so let's take off the eh here. So it started. It started. Okay, now combine the that T with the S a little bit more. It started. So you're going to rule right into it. Don't worry about finishing the T sound. It started. It started. Okay, good. One more time. It started. It started. Great, great. Okay. Um, all right, let's go to um, K. Uh, where did you go? Tightened. So with this word, okay. Now, the way that you will probably hear this said is like this. Tightened. Okay, we don't actually pronounce the T. We say tightened. Tightened. So let's uh, skip over the T. So I'm going to say tighten. Go right to the N. Tighten. Tightened. Tighten. Okay, tightened. Uh huh. And then add a D at the very end. Tightened. Tightened. Good. Good. One more time. Tightened. Tightened. Good. Okay. It's tricky at first. Yeah. Okay? It's so hard. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That it's tricky. Okay. Uh, but one thing is to understand that that's what that word means. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to pronounce it that way, you can say tightened, and we will understand you, and life will go on, and there's no there's no big difference. But understand that when we say tightened, it's the same as tightened. It's the same uh -huh. word. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's go to uh, the word making. Okay. Give me a long A here instead of me making. Me. It's may. Making. Okay. A. Making. Making. One more. Good. Good. Ma All right. Now good. Okay. Very nice. Uh, let's go to um, Oksana. All right, Oksana, let me have you read from Now It Was Time. Um, finish the paragraph and read down to the uh, the comma here where it says looked dry, please. Now it was time to use the gas trimmer. He checked that carefully and started it up without any issues, which was a relief. About halfway through trimming, the plastic cutting line ran out. Randy had to take off the cutting head and replace the line. That was always annoying. Eventually, eventually the grass was cut and trimmed. trimmed. Randy decided to water a couple bushes that looked, looked dry. All right, look at you correcting your ED endings. Nice job. Okay, that was good. Okay, yeah. I, I don't care if you initially say the word wrong. If you recognize it and fix it, it's all good to me. Okay? The reason why is because I mess up all the time in English. Okay, I say something and it comes out like, and then I go, nope, that's not right. And so I say it again. We all do that. You do that in your own language. Okay? But the, the one of the reasons why we go through this is so that you guys can listen to yourself. Okay? And then try and fix it yourself. Right? So yeah, if you if you say look it, okay, say oh that's not right. It's looked. Okay. So those that was good. So you got looked and trimmed. Okay. Very nice. All right. Let's uh, let's see here. This word here is pronounced bushes instead of boshes. Ma. It's bu bushes. 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 Uh huh. One more time. Bushes. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, next, off instead of uh, um, of uh, with the uh, sorry of. Okay. More with the V sound. It's off. 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 Okay. Yeah. Off. Okay. Uh, next up, we have uh, the word uh, issues. Give me a short I here at the beginning instead of issues. It's ish. Issues. Ish. Issues. Okay, one more time. Short I. Ish. Issues. Ish. Issues. Issues. Okay. There you go. There you go. Um, next up is carefully. Carefully. 
Carefully. Carefully. There, nice. Okay. And the last one here is trimmer. Okay, with a short I instead of tree, trimmer, it's tri, trimmer. 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 Okay, better. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, let's go to um, Amaudi. Yes, teacher. Okay, Amaudi, please uh, finish up our story, reading from But the Hose. Okay, and read down to Started, please. Okay. Uh, but the Hose didn't work. He had no water. What was going on today? He played with the brake box in the garage to make sure the well had power and checked all the connections. The connections. Now the well worked finally. He could water the plants and go inside. Three hours after he hid, he started. Okay, so. very good. Um, good. Let's go to uh, he could. Okay, now here you added an extra sound in between the D and the W in could and water. So let's try this. We want to only pronounce those consonants and vowels. So he could water. He could water. water. He could water. Okay, very nice. Uh, next up is checked all. Okay, so two things here. Combine these two words, checked all. Checked right? And all. then with the L, make sure that you're reaching up and touching the top of your mouth. The, uh, the L is not an O. You're saying ow instead of ow. Okay? The L is a tongue movement and not a lip movement. Okay. Okay? So it's checked all. Checked all. There you go. Okay? Good. Okay? Let's try the L again here. Instead of well, it's well. Well. Okay? Move the tongue up. Touch the top of the mouth. Oh, well. Well. Good. Good. Much better. Okay, and um, last one here is didn't instead of didn't they? Okay, the hose didn't work. But the hose didn't work. Okay, one more time. Uh, but the hose didn't work. But the hose didn't work. Okay, very nice. Okay, I'll have you uh, read just a bit more on the next story as well. Okay. okay. Um, all right. So here's the next story, you guys. Uh, late birthday. Okay. All right, Amaudi, let me have you read the first uh, couple lines. So down here to where it says mom. So it was Aaron's down to her and mom, please. Okay. It was Aaron's birthday, but it didn't feel like it. Every other year. Daddy took off, took off work so he could he could go somewhere and do something with her and mom. Okay, very good. Uh, let's take a look here at dad instead of daddy. This is dad. Dad. Okay, good. Uh, this word here is pronounced year instead of uh, air. Mm -hmm. It's year. Year. Okay, good. And this one here is errands instead of rarens. It's air. Errands. 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 All right. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Let's go to. Let's go back to the top here to Trung. Yes. Okay, Trung. Please read from this year. He couldn't. And also, welcome to class, Trung. Um. And read down to uh, here where it says it wasn't the same, please. Yes. This year he couldn't. Things are too busy at work. He said, and while that makes sense, it didn't make it feel any better. Mom tried to cheer her up. They baked banana red cupcakes together, frosting them with cream cheese frosting. They were really good. And she even got to some candles in them to blow out, to blow out. Even so, it wasn't the same. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to that last word here. Give me a long a sound. Okay, a instead of sem, it's say same. Same. Okay, one more time. Same. Same. 
Good, good. Next up is candles. 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 Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, next up we have um, this uh, part here. Uh, they were really good. They were really good. Give me an uh sounding good. They were really good. Okay, much better with that vowel sound. Okay. Uh, next up is uh, baked banana be bread cupcakes. Baked banana bread cupcakes. Baked banana bread cupcakes. Okay. All right, so we have two long A's here. So we have A, baked, banana bread cup, K, cakes. Baked, baked. banana bread cupcakes. Baked, banana bread cupcakes. Good. Much better with the vowel sound. Okay. Um, and let's see here. Okay, last one here. Now, your R sound was great, okay? But the uh, the vowel is incorrect. Instead of war, worked, it's were with an E sound. Were, worked. Or sorry, work without the, e, the ED. Work. Work. Yes, that's it. One more time. Work. Work. All right. Nice job, Trong. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Next up is Shafar. Uh, yes. Hi, Shafar. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well, teacher. How about you? All right. I'm doing great. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, let me have you read this paragraph here from Then There Were down to Something She Wanted. Please. Okay. Uh, then there were the present or lack of them. She already gotten stuff from grandma and grandpa two weeks ago. So there was nothing to open there. Mom and dad's gift had already been bought to so there were no any surprise. It was sort of sad, although there was some cash from random family members that she could use for something she wanted. Very good. Uh, let's go to the word surprises. Okay, right here. Surprises. Sur sur surprises. Okay, now control your tongue on that R. You're saying surprise and you're rolling the R. Push the tongue down on the R. Surprises. Surprises. Okay, one more time. Surprises. Surprises. Okay, very nice. Uh, next up is uh, the word grandpa. Okay, same thing. Instead of gran, grandpa, okay, it's Gr, gran, push the tongue down on the R. Grandpa. Grandpa. That's Grandpa. right. Very good. Grandpa. And uh, the last one here is presence instead of pre, presence. Okay, presence. Mm -hmm. Give me a good R here. Presence. 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 Okay, one, one more time. Push the tongue down. Presence. Present. Okay, one more time. Nice and slow. Per presence. Present. Present. Okay. All right. Good. Much better. Okay. Now, um, uh, those those are really the only uh, issues that you had. So watch those R's following consonants. All right. So what's mm. what you want yeah. to do with those? Okay. You have three exercises to do. The first exercise is just saying the R. You say er. Er, and you hold that out for as long as you can. The next one includes a vowel. Okay, so you say an, uh, uh, an a vowel sound after the R and a vowel sound before the R. So you have one and the other. So it's like re, ra. Okay, and you practice all of the vowel sounds. Then you put those vowel sounds at the beginning of the R. R, or, or. Okay, do all of the vowels. Then you work on your consonants, so that's the third step. You work on ker, ber, ger, ter, der, per. Okay, all of those, and you want to work through them and saying the consonant and moving straight to the R and holding your tongue down. Okay, if you do those three and you practice keeping your tongue down and being constructive about it, because if you practice them incorrectly and you're saying ri, ra, ru, 
Okay, you're rolling the R, it's not doing you any good. So push the tongue down, it'll strengthen your tongue, and it will create what's called muscle memory. Right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Uh huh? Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Bruno. How you doing, Bruno? Hello, Bruno. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. How you doing? I'm doing well, and you? I'm doing great, thank you. Let's have you read from uh, Dad Got Home. Okay, finish okay. the paragraph, and read down to here where it says, went to bed early, please. Okay. Dad got home late on that Thursday night, and they ate a quick dinner. Um, where's that? Oh, okay. It was chicken. Parmesan over pa pasta and red sauce. It was good, one of her favorites, but it just didn't hit the spot. More cupcakes didn't do the trick either. They watched a movie then, one she wanted to see, but it just made her want to cry. Okay, keep going to where the comma is, where it says early. Okay, um, Dad hugged her and went to bed early because okay, he had good. a long day that. at work the next day. All right, very okay. good. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, so a uh, couple things here. <clears throat> so we have uh, ed endings as well mm -hmm. as d sounds, and then I also want to uh, um, work a little bit on your t's. Now, Bruno, you are from uh, Brazil, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, with uh, with Portuguese and the T, especially those from uh, um, Brazil, you have a certain way that you say your T's, and sometimes it comes off a little strong. Okay, it's the mm -hmm. ch, ch sound. Okay. Um, so uh, with that, okay, uh, don't push as hard. All right. So you want to you want to relax a little bit on those T's. Okay. So for example, Dad got. Okay, so it's going to be light, got, instead of got, got ch, ch, okay, got, mm -hmm. it's got, okay, really got. light. Dad got home late on that Thursday night, okay, notice, I'm not saying dad got home late on that Thursday night, okay, I'm not mm -hmm. pushing into those, okay, the T's are really light. Dad got home late on that Thursday night. Okay, try that. Nice and soft. Uh huh. Dad got home late on that um, <laughs> Thursday night. Okay. So, what we do here to to combine uh, to get rid of that T sound, okay, is we actually use what's called a stop T. We say that Thursday. You're going to combine the T and the TH. That mm -hmm. Thursday. Try that. That Thursday. That's that's right. Okay, and at the end of night, instead of pronouncing the T, we're going to say night. Okay, and your tongue is going to stop at the top of your mouth. Okay, you're going to pronounce night. half of the T sound. Night. Mm -hmm. Try that again. Night. Good. Okay, let's try that beginning part one more time. So, focus on those T's. Okay, you don't want to complete the T sound. Dad got home late on that Thursday night. Okay. Dad got home late on that Thursday night. Okay. All right, we're getting we're getting better. Okay, the T is sounding less less strong, okay? So that's that's what we want. Okay? All right. So the other thing is uh, your e, your D sounds at the end instead of gut, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a D sound. So you have two sounds in Portuguese for the R. You have a H sound and you have a R, right? So like the word Maria that's the the D sound in English. D, Maria, Maria, did, did, good, Maria. Okay, you hear the same the same thing. My tongue is hitting the top of my mouth. So on this word here, instead of saying gut and pronouncing a T, it's good. Good. Okay, push the tongue back. You don't want your tongue to touch your teeth. Okay, okay. one more time. Good. 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 That's better. Okay, one more time. Good. Good. Great. That's the D sound. That's the D sound at the end of a word. Okay. Um, this word instead of watched, okay, it's watched with the T at the end. Watched. Watched. 
Okay, very good. And last word is hugged. This one we want to pronounce a D. Okay, now I would study the ED endings. We have three different sounds. We just went over two of them, a T sound and a D sound. There's a third one, which is ID. Okay, this one here, we do not pronounce the E. Okay, this is hugged. Hugged. Okay. All right, now remember when we said good and not good? Okay, same hugged. thing here. We don't want to say hooked. It's hugged. 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 Okay, push the tongue back in your mouth. Don't let your tongue touch your teeth. Hugged. Hugged. Good, good. We're almost there. One more time. Hugged. Hugged. Good. Good. Okay. All right. So that's mm -hmm. the difference. That's the difference between the D sound and the T sound. Okay. Nice job. All right. Let's uh, let's go. Whoops. I didn't want to go all the way down there. Okay. Let's go to Nader. All right. Nader, let's have you read from. All right. Finish this paragraph uh, here. And down to this comma where it says, um, uh, on, up on Saturday, please. He'd be gone all day and not return home until she was already asleep. She wouldn't see him once. How sad. That Friday was hard to get, in, to get through. Her first day was over. It had been horribly uneventful. And Dad was nowhere to be seen. How boring. She went to bed early, hoping the weekend would be better, and it was, when she woke up on Saturday. Okay, very good. All right, let's take a look here at uh, Get uh, to Get Through. Let's see, is that right? Yeah. Um, right here. Okay, so couple things uh, we're working. We want to work on the uh, the position of your tongue with the T sounds instead of do. Okay, push the tongue forward just a little bit more. Two, to get through. Okay, and watch your watch your R sound on through instead of through. Okay, it's through. To get through. To get through. Try that. To get to get through. To get Good. through. Okay, one more time. Push the tongue down a little bit more on the R. To get through. To get through. Okay. Through. All right, let's try through just by itself. I want you to say thur, thur. Thur, thur. All right, good. Hold on to that R, and then we're going to say an oo, okay? So thru. Thru, 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 thru. There you go. That, that's it. One more time. Thru. Thru, 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 thru. Good, good. Nice job. Okay, very good. Okay, this word here, instead of said, the word is sad. Okay, with an ah sound, sad. How sad. Good, good. Much better. And the last one here is the word until. Okay, so two things here. The position of the tongue with the T as well as the L. Instead of until, it's until. So remember, everything is going to happen at the front of the mouth. Until. Until. Yes. Okay. Feel how that difference is? Till. You're going to leave space in your mouth, mouth for the vowel. One more time. Until. 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 Good. Good. All right. Nice job, Nader. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. All right. Let's uh, continue here uh, with Heido. Yes. Okay, Heido, please read from There Was a String of Foil. And let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, go ahead and, and finish up this uh, paragraph here. There was down to birthday money. Okay. There was a string of foil helium balloons around her bit. A small gift box and a card that Red, I'm sorry, that white, white, waited for here. She opened it and found a cut little necklace, just like one that Mon had. No, they 
match the day that took her out at lunch and followed her around the defaulting as she shopped with her birthday money. Okay, very good. Uh, now that last word instead of money, money, it's m money, 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 money. All right. Okay. Next word here. Um, watch your uh, watch your tongue. Okay. On birthday, push the tongue down instead of birthday. It's bur birth birthday. Birthday. Yeah. There you go. One more time. Birth birthday. Birthday. Very good. Okay. All right. This one here. This word is pronounced dutifully. Okay. There are some times in English uh, where we have an a l l y ending or a u l l y. Okay. Where we don't pronounce this vowel. This is one of those words. So instead of dutifully, it's dutifully. 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 Okay. One more time. Dutifully. Dutifully. Good. Good, okay. Uh, next up is uh, the word now, right here. This is an ow sound. Now. Now, now. Okay, very good. Uh, next up is mom. Okay, instead of mum, it's ma, mom. Mom, mom. Okay, very nice. Uh, next up is cute. Instead of coot, it's q, ew, cute, cute. Cute. Okay, very good. Um, next here we have um, so cute. Okay, her right here. Instead of here, okay, it's her, 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 her. Okay, good. Um, let's try. Let's try the uh, R sound on card instead of card. Okay, push the tongue down. Card. Card. Okay, one more time. Card. Card. Okay, very good. And that I think that was the last one. Yeah, very good. All right, thank you, Heido. Thank you very much, Chef. No problem. Okay. All right, let's go to Heidi. Yeah. All right, Heidi, please read from uh, It Started. And go ahead and finish up the, uh, the, par uh, the story here, okay? I'll have you read a, a bit more on the next story. Uh, it started out to be a horrible birthday. But it ended up great, even if it had been a late birthday. Sometimes it's not the day, but the event themselves that matter. Okay, nice job. All right, let's take uh, take a look at birthday and birthday. Okay, ba, it's bur. Curve your tongue up for that r. Birth, birthday. Birth, birthday. There you go. That's it. Okay, very nice. uh, and next one here, same thing. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. All right. Nice job. That was really good. One more time. Horrible. Horrible. Great. Okay. Good. Let's go to our next story. Okay. Learning to bake. Okay, here's the story, you guys. All right, and Heidi, please continue from Jill Watched. Mm -hmm. Okay, and read down to uh, You Can Bake, please. Uh, Jill wanted her grandma bake each time. She wants to visit her and spend the weekend. I wish I knew how to bake grandma, said Jill. It's not hard, rip, uh, replied grandma. Huh? More? <laughs> yep, if you can read. Down if to you can, can bake. If you can read, you, if you can read, you can bake. Okay, very good. All right, let's take a look at two words here. Okay, give me a good L on replied. 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 Okay, one more time. Replied. Replied. Okay, good. And the last one here is grandma. 
The stress is at the very beginning. Instead of grandma, it's grandma. Grandma. Good. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Next up is Daniel. All right, Daniel. Sure. And let's have you read from uh, What Does Reading Have? Okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Okay, read from what does down to reading and measuring, please. Okay, what does reading have to do with baking? Asked Jill. You need to be able to follow the directions and do the steps in order in the order they are given. If you don't, whatever you are baking will not turn out the way you want. Grandma said, if, we, if you want to make a cake, you must put the right amount of flour into the bowl. Otherwise, your cake won't taste yummy. Cooking and baking are simply reading and measuring. Okay, very good. All right, let's take a look at four words here. Um, this last one, instead of measuring, it's mej, measuring. Measuring. Uh -huh, short E sound. Okay. Uh, next up is, whoops, not of. <laughs> <laughs> flower. Yeah, oh, it's okay. not of. You said of just fine. Don't worry. The word of is, is <laughs> just great. Okay, it's flower. Instead of fleur, it's flower. Okay, flower. flower. Like like a flower? Or? Yep, just like the flower. It's it's pronounced exactly the same. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, let's go to grandma. Okay, in this word, the D is not pronounced. Okay, grandma. Grandma. Okay, very good. And the last one for you uh, is the word don't. With the O here, okay, it's a diphthong. O, do, don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. One more time. Don't. Don't. Good. All right, nice job. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, let's go to um, Oksana. Oksana, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, very good. Let's have you read from You Don't Need to Know down to reading the recipe, okay, to this comma, please. Uh, you need to know your math to Jill. The next day, Grandma told Jill she was going to make some brown browns. Why don't you see if you can follow the recipe and measure out the ingredients asked grandma wow that would be great exclaimed jill jill got out all the pens and spoons first then she read the receipt to grandma once jill finished reading the receipt okay now that last word is pronounced recipe uh, recipe uh, recipe mm -hmm. Okay, recipe. one more time. Yeah, recipe. Recipe. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to um, then she read. Then she read the recipe. Instead of read, read. Then she read the recipe. Okay, good. Uh, next up is got. Instead of got, it's ga, got. Got. Okay, very nice. Got. Uh, next up is, all right, this one here. This is brownies, brownies. Brownies. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Um, next we have uh, grandma, grandma. Grandma, grandma. Uh -huh. There you go. And the last one here is the word math. Instead of moth, ma, it's ma. Math. 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 Okay, one more time. You're saying ma, ma. Instead of ma, it's ma. Okay, open up your mouth nice and wide. Ma, math. 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 There you go. Yeah, math. Okay, good job. All thank right, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see here. Recipe. All right, let's go to uh, Amaudi. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Daniel, is that is that a question for me there? Uh, yep. Okay, so um, uh, then she read the recipe. Okay, that must be then she uh, uh, read. Yes, it would be if it if it was the trick here with the word read. Okay, if uh, if you can't tell by the context. Okay, uh, what it is if it is she. Okay, if uh, if there is she or he in front of it. Okay, or uh, it. Okay, all right. Then it would have to be reads if it's present tense. If there's no s on the end of it, then it's going to be a short e sound. It's going to be in past tense. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the that's the easiest way to figure that one out. Okay, without okay. without okay. recognizing the context around it. Yeah. I, I mean in the in the document. Uh, in the document, what do you mean? She, uh, yeah, Oksana already said it. That 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 part. Oh, okay, yeah, the red. Okay, I thought you were asking uh, um, if it uh, if it was supposed to be know, read no. or read. Oh, okay, gotcha, know. gotcha. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, Amaudi, you yes. are next. Uh, please read from she. She went to the pantry. And read down to here where it says asked grandma. Okay. She went to the pantry and the refrigerator to gather gather the things she would need. She wouldn't need. Grandma told the Jew once she had everything. She needed to do the first step of mixing the solid the solid ingredients. Jew measured Jill measured the sugar and the flour. What is what is the second step? Asked the grandma. It says it says to add the one egg. Say Jill. Jill added, added the egg and it began stirring her better. What is next? Asked the grandma. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to. Mm -hmm. This right here, this is going to be stirring her batter. Stirring her batter. Stirring her batter. Okay, one more time. Stirring her batter. Stirring her batter. Okay, very good. Uh, next up is add. Okay, instead of added, okay, it's add. Add. Okay. Add. Okay, good. All right, uh, this word here, when it has an S on it, Okay, instead of saying says with a long A, it's a short E. Says, says. Says, it says. Mm -hmm. Says to add one egg. Very nice. Uh, next we have uh, the word measured. Right here, instead of measured, measured. okay, short E, measured. Measured, measured. All right, very nice. Um, next up is everything. Okay, with everything. the T. Yeah, make sure you're pronouncing a TH instead of an F, okay? You don't want to say everything. It's everything with the TH, with your tongue between your teeth. Try that. Everything. Okay. Everything. Okay. Very nice. And let's see. I believe we have one more left. Okay. Yes. Uh, she would need. All right. So uh, watch your Ds at the end here. You're adding extra sounds saying she would need it. Okay, instead of would I need it, it would be she would need. She would, she need. would need. She would need. Okay, now with would and need, okay, do not finish the D sound. Okay, so you're going to pronounce half of the D. So she would need. She would need. Yes, good. One more time. She would, she need. would need. She would need. Good. Now, that's going to help you not pronounce that extra vowel sound after the Ds and Ts and things like that. You okay. pronounce half of, the, half of the D, half of the T. It's called a stop D. Okay? Okay. Great. Very good. Thank you. Go All on. right. Um, what's next, Grandma? Okay. Let's go to Bruno. Okay. Bruno, please read from It Says to Add One. Okay, and read down to here where it says uh, okay. the oven temperature, please. Uh-huh. Um, 
it says to add one half cup of walnuts. Um, okay. Of cup of walnuts, uh, said Jill. Jill added the walnuts and continued stirring. Once she finished stirring, she continued to follow the recipe. Grandma told her to read and see what temperature the oven needed to be set at for the brownies. Jill read the recipe and told Grandma uh, 350 degrees. Grandma let you set the oven temperature. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word oven. Instead of oven, oven. instead mm -hmm. of oh, it's a uh, oven. Uh, oven, okay. Uh -huh. Good. All right, let's go to the word um, uh, read or read. Uh, grandma told her to read. Okay, so right here, uh, told her to read. Told her to read. All right, give me a D sound instead of read. Okay, read. Push the tongue back in your mouth. Read. Read. Uh huh. You're almost there. Instead of t. Okay, you don't want your tongue to touch your teeth. Read. Uh -huh. Read. There you go. Good. One more time. Read. Read. Good. Nice job. That's the D sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's okay. go to. Um, Where'd you go? Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, once. So instead of once, she finished stirring. Okay, this is mm -hmm. ooh, once. Once she finished stirring. Once. Once. Once she finished stirring. Stirring. Stir. Stirring with an ER. Stir. Stirring. Uh huh. Stirring. Stirring. Uh huh. Very good. And last one for you is. Jill added with the L sound. Uh, your tongue oh. needs to touch the top of your mouth instead of Jew added. added. It's Jill added. Jill added. Mm -hmm. Jill added. Okay. Now uh, added was good. Give me another L instead of Jew. Okay. Remember the L is not a a lip movement. It's a tongue movement. Your tongue needs to reach up and touch the top of your mouth. Jill. Jill added. Jill. Added. Okay, you're almost there. Okay, so uh, open up your mouth just a little bit more. Okay, instead mm -hmm. of Jill. Okay, open up the mouth. Jill. Jill added. Jill. Jill added. Okay. All right. Much better. Thank you. Okay, okay. you guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you all for uh, for coming uh, coming in. It was great having you all here. Uh, next up is a uh, um, a listening comprehension class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We'll see you guys. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.